brilliance of Intel's 14th generation. Um. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Tech 3D. It is Tech. It is Tech 3D. Yes. Uh, it's been a while, mate. It's been a while. Uh, this video is uh, going to be a waffly talky head with no editing because the, the levels of effort that I'm prepared to put into this channel at this point in time, very low. Apathy, very high. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's probably quite apparent at this point, given how little I've done on the channel in a while. So the video is going to be two, two things. It's going to be a couple of words on the 14th gen Intel stuff that have been sent. Um, and then also just why are my apathy levels high? Why am I not, why am I not working on this channel at, at all this year, as it seems? Uh, and I just want to talk about that. A few words on what I'm doing. Not really what I'm doing, but why I'm not doing this, more to the point. So yeah, the 14th gen stuff's come out. And look, since 12th gen, Intel have been sending me the, the samples to do reviews on and benchmarks and stuff for the professional uh, crowd. And I've, I've been doing that, very happy to do that. But for this one, um, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to dick on Intel too much. It, it is what it is, right? It's, it, it's, it's not really a new generation. It's a tick rather than a tock. Uh, it's like a node refresh, um, and this is kind of this is kind of where they're at with it, right? Usually you'd get like a, at the press would get a you know fancy box with a you know that's the old late one, right? You get this little trinket thing and um, a nice fancy box and presentation case and stuff. This year, this came in the mail in bubble wrap. <laughs> I was quite surprised to say the least. Uh, so that's kind of where they're at with it, and it's sort of basically where I'm at with it as well. Um, in terms of what I'm prepared to, to put in, uh, they might not be happy with that, but that's kind of, uh, that's just, that's just is what it is. So I want to say a massive thank you though to MSI for sending me over a Z790 Tomahawk board to run a few tests on for the 14th gen stuff. Uh, I'll put a few clips of that up on screen right now. Great little board. Uh, runs the chip like an absolute champ. No issues whatsoever. Uh, it's just the, 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 the generation that Intel have just pushed out, 14th gen, it's... It's just a bit meh. You know, it's a great chip. It's an increase over 13th gen, albeit just marginally. You're talking 5% here and there, but it's the same core counts. It's the same architecture. It runs in the same motherboards. It still works on Z690 and Z790. It just runs about 5% faster. So I'm not, frankly, prepared to spend days and days of my life making a video that's going to earn me about $5 because about... 5,000 people watch it, all right? I'm not working two days for $5. It's not going to happen. Uh, and there's, I just don't think there's enough people who are going to be all that bothered about this generation, right? Um, but it's still a great CPU. It's just if you're already on 13th gen or even 12th gen, it's just, it's a it's a tough sell. It really is. But yeah, Invmark 2024, about 89,000. And in, Inventor 2024 with 13th gen, you're talking about 84. 45,000, give or take, depending on what board you're running it on. Um, speaking of which, that Z790 board is, um, is it's it's thirsty, shall we say. So, um, yeah, I've got the i5 14600K here as well. If anybody's got any requests, they want to see something specific with these CPUs, let me know in the comments and I'll have a think about it, right? <laughs> I'll think about it, no promises. But, uh, yeah, just let me know. Okay. So yeah, that's the fourteenth gen stuff. Uh, it is what it is. It's it's it is just is what it is. Uh, right. Okay. What am I doing with this channel? Um, yeah, you may know my. You may have noticed that I've been absent this year, and that's intentional. Uh, there's a lot of intricacies and nuance to what's happened, where I've gone, but I don't. I don't want to waffle on for like 20, 30 minutes about all the thoughts that have gone through my head in the last year and the fact I've been doing it for 10 years and where I think I should be versus where I am and all that kind of stuff. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. What I'll just say is at this point and from about January this year, my motivation to make videos on this channel just just gone, just totally died. Uh, I'm, I, I need... I need a fire lit under me, and I'm hoping Autodesk University is going to be that. So, yeah, I'm going out of Vegas. I mentioned that in the last couple of videos that I made, uh, the, only, the only recent ones that I've made. And I'm hoping I get a, I don't know, a renewed sort of sense of enthusiasm in this this field 
from going there. But I don't know. Over the last year, I've just kind of lost it. I've lost the motivation to make videos. I don't get anything out of it. I don't get any sort of satisfaction at this point. I don't get any reward at all. I've spent a quarter of my life on this channel and it's not where I, I, would, I was hoping it would be. And um, yeah, it's just, it's a long story short, it's just a the worst, the worst use of my time is working on this channel. And um, it got to the point where I plugged away, kept going because everyone keeps, keep going, keep going. It'll pay off in the end. It didn't. It really didn't. Uh, and if you, what, you got 80, what, 80, how many? 81,000 subscribers and you're, that's good. No, I get 10 years of work. Do you know what my ad revenue is? After 10 years of work, I get $200 a month, mate. $200 a month. So if I was to just not work at all and only work on YouTube for the next month, I'll get $200. I can't do that anymore. I did for a year last year, not doing it anymore, not happening. Don't get what anyone says, it ain't happening. So um, yeah, uh, I'm, uh, so I'm hoping I get a, a renewed sense of enthusiasm after Autodesk University. If I do, the effort and quality of the videos is not going to be as high as it, it used to be. I, I went all in a couple of years ago with like, well, with, with all this, I mean, this and the camera that you, you're watching me through and studio lights and, right, and micro four third camera with a huge Sigma lens and tripods and everything. I went all in with it, right? And it's, it, believe it or not, it's more, it's more work. when you, the, better, the better gear you've got, the more work it is. And um, I'm just not, it's not happening. It ain't happening. So it's going to be minimal effort, um, minimal editing. It just... Uh, uh, you get to an age, right? I'm 42 now. Uh, when I was in my early 30s, when I started the channel, I, I had the energy to do a day shift with my day job and then a night shift on this. I, I, I don't have that kind of energy anymore or I don't have the drive anymore. I probably would. I'd be able to summon the energy up from somewhere, but not the drive. So um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I've just lost it. I've just lost all kind of interest in, in the subject matter as well, which is the, the most difficult part for me to get over. I just don't have the motivation to open up Inventor or Fusion 360 or look at other Autodesk software right this, at this point and look for content ideas. My day job doesn't really generate me a lot of content ideas right now. I'm working on sensitive projects that, that are very data management centric and there's nothing I can really create from that. So um, it's just where I'm at with it. But uh, yeah, I've I've also start. I've joined the Autodesk Service Provider program as well, so I'm I'm listed as a Autodesk Service Provider to do consulting jobs for for anyone really, anyone in the world. So just hit me up if you if you've got any requirements. You probably think, oh, what do you do? Just hit me up. Uh, just hit me up, and I will talk about it. But I am a service provider, um, and that's kind of what I've been doing for the last year. I've been working on stuff that's actually going <laughs> to reward my time. Do you know what I mean? So um, yeah, there's one more video that I need to make. <laughs> uh, it's me and my chairs, man. Look, I spend so much time in this office. Like, I spend, a, even though I'm not making videos, I still spend about 15 hours sitting in a chair in this office, and I like my chairs. And I've been sent a gaming chair, and it's not going to be your regular kind of gaming chair review. I've got a lot to say about it, um, and it's not all good. But it's um, it's a, it's a nice chair. But yeah, I've just got some things I want to say about it. So I'm going to make a video on that. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of obliged. They did send me a free chair, but you know, it's not just going to be, oh, look at this chair. It's really comfy. Link in the description. It's not going to be that. But uh, yeah, anyway, that'll do for now. Thanks very much for watching. Um, my name's Neil Cross. I'm still here. Uh, if you're going to be at Autodesk University in Vegas, if I'd, I've no idea what Vegas is going to be like, man. It's going to be, it's, it's a Formula One track right now. <laughs> Whether you can just walk around there freely. I don't know. What's happening with all the bridges over the strip? Can you just cross the strip? Don't know. Who knows? But um, yes, that's where I'm at. That's where I've been. And um, yeah, if you're, still if you're still here after all these years, thanks, mate. Appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, <laughs> whenever that is. Toodles.